The Great Lakes are a treat in the summer, but a challenge in the winter. Several feet of snow can fall in one area, but a few miles away, it can be just a dusting. This is all because of lake effect. Here's a typical setup for lake effect snow. Winds move in from the west or northwest, bringing colder air over the Great Lakes. The same thing happens when we see a northeast wind. When this cold air moves over warmer lake waters, warm and moist air rises and collides with the cold air. This rising air cools and condenses into clouds. This can develop into narrow bands, capable of producing intense snowfall. Narrow snow bands are the reason some areas get buried under snow and other areas can see very little. A slight change in wind direction will easily change the snowfall forecast. Lake effect snow has been falling in several Great Lakes regions over the past few days. The Upper Peninsula has seen roughly 30 inches of snow, while parts of New York State have already seen nearly 60 inches of snow. Picture this. Packers quarterback Jordan Love stands at 6 feet 4 inches tall. 5 feet of snow would reach his shoulders. Even though it can be messy, many Great Lakes residents embrace lake effect. I love it. I'm ready for ice fishing, ready to watch everybody go crazy. I mean, people up here, when we get snow, everybody forgets how to drive. And it's fun to watch for being born and raised up here. I enjoy the snow. I love it. My kids enjoy it a lot, and I have a lot of fun with them out here. Meteorologist Audrey Lee, Fox 11 News.